Hello everyone and a very happy autumn equinox to you all. I wanted to be here briefly online today to send my equinox wishes and to just share a few thoughts that have been rising over this season. Equinox is a time of balance. The daylight and dark hours are equal for this day and after this day the dark hours will start to grow. And it feels a little bit like the dark in our world is growing at the moment too. With coronavirus sticking around for the foreseeable and with various political and perhaps even personal situations that are stirring right now. The dark is starting to feel a little oppressive. The difficult, the painful, the unjust. All these things seem to be crowding in. But autumn reminds us that that dark is a resting place and a birthing place for change. And the balance of the equinox, that's a promise. It's an encouragement that to acknowledge and welcome the dark as well as the light, to hold the two in balance, births a richness far beyond the simplicity of bright color or fat fruit the richness of autumn time, the richness of equinox is far deeper, far more sustaining because it embraces all, the dark and the light, the difficult and ease, loss and abundance. All of it is present right now and we are so rich for it. So I hope going ahead, the equinox can provide inspiration for you to not try and shut out the parts that feel difficult or painful, but to use them to feed yourself as you do with the light and the bright and the joyful. If we can all do that, then what comes after this time of darkness and perhaps also difficulty could be truly magnificent. And I leave you today with a poem by Gregory Orr from his book concerning the book that is the body of the beloved. Ripeness of summer, yet autumn is here. Fruit fat on the trees, but already the leaves brown and curl at their edges. Fruit and seed in the heart of the fruit, apple or pear. Already something preparing to rot and die and something inside ready to live again. Blessed be everybody.